Ross running the cheese? <laughs> Consult the machine. What is it? It's like you've left their, their mice in front in charge of the cheese or something. I fuck up words, you fuck up sayings. No, I, I know they've let the inmates run the asylum. I've heard that before. But there is another version of it. Well, um, let me just try and shape in cheese here, my f***ing fat fingers. Uh, not for long, you get them skinny fingers. <laughs> if it is in fact real, it will choke to death on blue algae. Lock, nay my problem, you know? <laughs> Lock, nay bother me. <laughs> nay skin off my d <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Speaking of top tier chocolate, I found a pair of strange knickers under my... <laughs> On their, I was in that Airbnb. Stray necks. Stray necks. I was trying to, I was trying to find uh, duvets, and I pulled the fucking cupboard thing out from under the bed, and there's just someone's old balled up, fucking lacy knickers. Hey, that's suspect as well. Yeah, that's weird too. Let's talk about that. There was a fellow just looks like me, <laughs> in one of those little stakeout vans with all the you know radio transmitters and all, just sitting there being like, just finished my homework, <laughs> thinking about you. <laughs> Dripping like a George Foreman. And then he just sticks the phone down and he's, he takes a bit of a f***ing five guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back up in this bitch. We're back. We're skinny. Oh, so skinny. So skinny. Welcome to episode 27. Seven. There we go. Fucking every week, I just get men and blacked. <laughs> can't fucking... Just wiped out. Just 27? Just can't remember anything. But I, can't hear, I can't hear myself in the headphones. They're coming off. Uh, do we do a Patreon shout out up top? Yeah. Yeah. Get yourself on to patreon.com forward slash the bomb squad pod and uh, absolutely put a napkin on like this and just get stuck into all the other episodes. Fucking live podcast. The Waterfront was uploaded this week. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um... Did you get a lot of feedback about that clip about the Kai? People going, do, do you not know you can't uh, milk a meal Kai? Yeah. You're like, yeah! <laughs> yeah, fucking, it's called playing along. Yeah. For the bit. Disabled Kai. Imagine the, uh, how shy that would have been if you would have went, I, and there was one one Kai called Eddie who was disabled who I had the milk, and I just went, let me stop you right there yeah. amidst uh, the crack and just explain to you that you can't actually milk a meal Kai. Yeah, it's better. And then, and then you just went, okay. Um. Uh, any other crack? You know? 1,800 people sitting there for fuck's sake. Uh, get yourselves in there. To get yourselves on time. anyway. And, uh, on. Listen to all the fucking good crack yourself. Um, our attitudes are changing because we're skinny guys now. Yeah. We're skinny guys. Um, I'm just constantly tired and fuming. Constantly. <laughs> yeah. Like all the time. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck people do. Yeah, I was real snappy to my family yesterday. Yeah, yeah I was like a fucking bear around the house. Curry sauce keeps the anger away. Yeah, what I've discovered. Is he fucking don't speak to me? I put these eggs and spinach and ham and this fucking tor tortilla. <laughs> My faces like that, and then I had one bite of it. And it just changed immediately. What have you been chawing on? Since what have I been chawing on, man? I mean, I've just been long periods. Some would call it intermittent fasting. Mm. I would call it intermittent starving. Yeah, uh, and then just going in hard. Just go, going in hard on the protein. No, like he texted me the other night at like half eleven at night, and he goes, "Man, I'm lying in bed here." Absolutely starving. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can barely sleep over the sound of my own guts going. Oh, why? I made the mistake of you ever have a Red Bull in an empty stomach? No. Shit's full. I'm not. <laughs> Just. I'm not a trash person. Oh yeah. I I don't know I'm what's got person. me into the ball. I think it's because I'm hanging out with short. Are you on the Are you on the bull lights? Are you? I'm on the high vis fucking diet at the minute with him. Oh yeah. You know? Just Rollies sausages and... with no bapper no on and uh, Red Bulls. Oh yeah. And Rollies, yeah. Just on that garage diet. We'll do the odd post gym roly like it's nice. Yeah, you know it's, it's fun that you can dip it. Well, you do vape. I was gonna say you dip in and out of the fags. Yeah, but here if it's, if it's uh, you know roly a day keeps the, the hunger away. Exactly, and I'm trying to as well. Like I will eventually quit vaping, but it's too much to have it in the middle of this. Yeah, it's yeah, it's too much of a shock to the Pick system. Pick one one opponent at a time. Correct. You know you don't want to be having to quit the vapes. Diet and exercise, and then the other night if you'd have handed me a roly, I'd add it. Oh yeah. I'd have, I'd have, After what? Nothing, just lying in bed, starving. <laughs> and I physically had it. And I went, this is fiber. <laughs> well, that is like, like just you know, the time. <laughs> coffee, coffee and figs will uh, just keep the hunger away. True, you get a couple of Nordic spirits in you, you know, you spend half the day just going, how are you finding them? They're great, uh, I love them. Does it keep your... I mean, I have about three months of gums left. <laughs> and I'll just be coming in here like fucking skeleton. <laughs> fucking... That's great, boys. Does yeah. it burn away? Can you feel it like burn your Oh, gums? it's a sweet burn, yeah. Uh -huh. You get used to it, you know. If you, if you, like, we give William Thompson that one, one day, three up. Yeah. That guy vapes all day. 
I get but, that though, but once you get used to those, you enjoy the pain, you know. Yeah. I'll be in the car just riding that wave. Mm. Mm. We have yeah. a couple of pouches in the vape shop. Coffee flavored, peach flavored. Oh, can you be, can you be my supplier? I can indeed. Yeah. Fucking right. There's one that's staff like, day. There's like a wolf on it. Oh, right, twenty five. Twenty five staff day. Twenty five staff day. Jesus, what well, are <laughs> they making money in that <laughs> Hemorrhage and money. Twenty five percent staff day. Every place I work in, I just put all my wages behind the counter again. That's what I was gonna say. You, do you, are you stacking them up at the house? Oh yeah. Like uh, every chef I go on time, like right, I might as well buy one now. Just one. Yeah. I couldn't control myself. I'd have. I'd be leaving with a fucking cart. Worked at a restaurant, kept buying food there. Yeah. Worked at a bar, kept drinking there after. Yeah. Like every place I work, I just put it by behind the till. Yeah. Spar. I mean, I love so I go the restaurant like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay behind for a quick one yeah people think you're having a pint like, yeah. nah quick three course dinner oh see if you get like people that actually are barman for years and years it's a it can be a bad path to go down like of course like a real bad path like as soon as you clock out everyone just stays behind has a pint most people end up going in the pish and this is like regularly oh yeah because it's it's stressful it's a, it's a long intense shift but that's that's what's happening here they've left what, what is that saying they've left the rats in charge of the cheese that's you with them vapes. And mates from the asylum. It's, 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 similar, it's similar vibes. <laughs> the rats run on the cheese. <laughs> Consult the machine. What is it? It's like you've left their, their mice in, front, in charge of the cheese or something. I fuck up words, you fuck up sayings. No, I, I know they've let the inmates run the asylum. I've heard that before. But there is another version of it. Well, um, let me just try and flip in cheese here, my fucking fat fingers. Uh, not for long, you get them skinny fingers. <laughs> I just came up Roblox. Rats are on the cheese. R no, not rats are on the cheese. What did you say? That's your new rap group. <laughs> Run the cheese. <laughs> Run the cattle. <laughs> just, just you and Black and fucking Cold Rain Cheddar. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? You let the rats are on the cheese? Let the, leaving the rats in charge of the cheese? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking gimp. There's definitely a, a title in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that it makes that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's what that's what's happened there. You know, you're, you're this like, is the cheese. And I'm the rat. <laughs> I don't even know what that noise is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go in there and they're like, "Do you have any uh, any substance abuse problems?" You're like, "No." And then they let you work for it. Then you're like, <laughs> just in behind the fucking thing. Well, because of the fact that you can, you know, it's one of the few jobs going these days where you can't vape in the job. In fact, it's encouraged. You know, vape in the vape shop. Vape in the vape shop. Yeah, you know, it, it passes the day real nice. It is, you know? yeah, it is weird. It is weird that isn't it? any minor inconvenience, you just toke the head of yourself. It's nice. It would be like working in an office, and they're like, "Fuck it, if you want to get chin this afternoon, work away." That would be well. I mean, people do that. You know, they do they. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember a barman used to do that. I did. I send you that that uh, reel of the these guys were doing like work on a house, mm -hmm. and they fucking just bashed a bit of drywall in, and like fucking. 2,000 half bottles of Captain Morgan's fell out. Oh, Jesus Christ. It was like your student house in fucking Holy Land. That was, it was all Captain Morgan's Buckfast and Frosty Jacks. Frosty Jacks, did they even still make that? Or people realize that it's poison? Oh, oh. Just like, it did literally taste like battery acid. Yeah, it's not good. Get you well fucked though. So, I just rifted it there. What about the Loch Ness, sir? She, she's in bits. I didn't know about it either. Oh, and the, someone brought it up yesterday and I was like, ah, that's wild. Oh, I don't I know what happened. What is it? Frog spawn or something? Uh, like Algae. Screen, like. Algae. How long do I remember DUP blames that in the queers? <laughs> 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 fucking gay algae taking over our fucking lock. Never been to it in their life. No, no, <laughs> plays no part in my life. But but sure, who who was talking about having a... Who was I talking to? They were having a wake for it. You know, they're like, RIP the lock. We're not taking care of it because all the agricultural waste's going into it. Hashtag wake for the lick. Yeah, like and, then, and then people are out there were like fucking dressed like you're like what the fuck are you doing man yeah so do get, anything else get a job you know <laughs> were they coming to the lot like oh well there, it was like Sam a fancy it was like a fancy dress party but it was like it was kind of like what difference does it make yeah that a, that a natural occurrence happened yeah a bit of shite in the lake what are you doing drinking out of it I mean I mean someone's gonna jump in here and be like yeah 90% of the water does come from uh, you know Loch Ness so yeah and see when you do jump in jokes on you I couldn't give two fucks about it <laughs> Yeah. So how's that? <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck about global warming. Don't give a fuck about the lake. Yeah. Fuck it. He don't give a fuck. He was that close to saying Loch Ness. I don't That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I, he's like, that monster's gonna die. <laughs> if it is in fact real, it will choke to death on blue algae. Loch Ness my problem. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Loch Ness ball to me. <laughs> Ness skin off my dick. 
See you later. <laughs> Fucking who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, you will get someone in the DMs giving you jib. Yeah, fuck, we're down a lick. Uh, um, the the <laughs> the eco disaster that would come off the back of Loch Ness disappearing would be devastating. Um, what was I going to say? But we're two skinny boys now. What was what was your weight last week? Two eight one. And now you're down to two seven three. Two eight one bus service. Two seven three. I went what two. Nine four, is that correct? Uh, I think that's what yep, the, two, two nine four. The two eight eight. You're you've dropped the pile. Uh, the man's dropping. Oh, I did. I dropped the pile already. <laughs> One this morning. Guys dropping piles. That's what's that? That's fucking uh, eight eight off, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna write that eight off, <laughs> and I have six off. Hi, right, the boys are doing well. Don't worry about it. And I had a couple of pronies last night, and as I was saying, it is embarrassing that I already, like two weeks into this, have lost my ability to drink. That's good. It's, no, it's not even worth I don't even know if it's worth it. I like being the person that could go all night, you know? Now I have free pronies and I'm slurring. Disgusting. Cheap night out, though. It is. Yeah. Well, it was, I mean, it was from the library's green room. Thank you very much. Free. Yeah. <laughs> Invoice in the post. Yeah. <laughs> I did order six goujons too. <laughs> and we Nicole that works there was like, chips with that? And I was like, nah. And she goes, what sauce do you want? I was like, no sauce. And she goes, no chips, no dip. No chips, no dip, Nicole. Did she go, what's even a fucking point? <laughs> did she just open the door and throw them at you? No, I think she, she knew about the weight loss challenge. Did so you? she was like, fair play. Did you get any comments from people going like, you look a wee bit trimmer? I've had a few, yeah. That one about the face, which Who kind of annoys that? me. I'm like, just, you know, I'm trying to get the gut off here. Yeah, you know, and they're like, "Ah, hey, your face looks a bit more." I was slagging you on my podcast, were you? Because you said something about being a skinny wee twink, and I was like, "In no, in not in this lifetime, will you ever be a skinny?" No, wee twink? I'll never be able to. And then I said, even even if you lost all the body fat, I was like, the head will still be enormous. Yeah, like a chubby chub. Yeah, <laughs> thin with a big fat head on the top. Well, that I, I'm hoping to get my shoulders to a size where the head looks normal on it. You know, oh yeah, that's my goal. Johnny Bravo, just yeah. like fucking absolutely <laughs> yoked, and then Rory Best, Rory Best, <laughs> I am the fucking the best. What did what did Short say then? The short, short the short fuse. Shout out. Short was like uh, <laughs> McCann. He goes, I he goes. He literally goes. I was sitting there the other night thinking, what could we get you looking like? And he goes, uh, I fucking I thought of it. We're gonna have you. Your end goal is gonna be Rory Best. And I was kind of like, I don't know if I want that. <laughs> that <is there>. What? <laughs> if, what? If, like Rory Best, you know, fantastic rugby player, but not a, not exactly known for his physique. <laughs> it's like not a it's not a good echo. We're gonna have, see at the end of the day, you're gonna be skinny Stephen Nolan. Yeah. That's that's what the best we can hope for. You know, what well, would Nolan look like skinny? He was skinny. Oh, that's right. Type that. in skinny Nolan. Skinny Nolan. That's when he had the white jeans and shit on. You're Stephen Nola these days. I Fear, even fear I it off the granola. Would never wear the white trousers, no matter how <laughs> thin I was. Never. You must be joking. Can you imagine the beer bounder and then fucking a, white jeans, man? Oh, why there he is there? The fucking sweat on, sir. That's Slazenger fucking wife beater on, too. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, did he lose it all in one day? Look sunk. Well, that's uh, you know that's obviously what happened. He lost the pile, and then he went back on the on the cocktails, on the prawn cocktails, oh, and it? fucking the. Uh, but he, that, that, that reeks of he just went into the sports direct and went, I do fitness now. Give me all the gear. Business in the front, party in the back here. This is Ulster staff, do. <laughs> it went, went a bit high with that fade. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, yeah. Looks like he's a taxi driver. Looks <laughs> like a retired punk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jolly rat. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie you're <rotten. laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that is there there is a there's a bit in that though, like your PT telling you you're gonna look like some absolutely average guy. You know? There is there West Ham at wall. <laughs> West Ham. You buy West Ham sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not turn around to short and be like, can we not do the, the, the fitness training and turn you into like The Rock? <laughs> not Rory Best. Even even Rory McIlroy would be a better <laughs> fucking outcome. <laughs> We're going to have you looking like Rory Best. Just someone that you'd never think for like a fitness angle. You yeah. <laughs> fucking Rory Best, last, 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 only rugby player he's ever heard of. Yeah. This is the only one I've ever heard of. It's him, Ferris. Yeah. That's pretty much where I draw the line. Okay. I don't know any others. 
And Ferris, I know Ferris would be a great, a great outcome. Ferris would be amazing. And what I like about Stephen Ferris as well is I have seen that man before in the wild holding a bottle of Buckfast, which makes me very happy. Mm-hmm. You know, because he's a big old fucking yoke guy. He is a hallion. Have a good time. He is a hallion. I like that. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that. Uh, I was in Scotland there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you the story before I forget. Um. Call it, oh, just getting emails there. Uh, Jesus, what about Twitter? You just open it up, fucking post right away. Jesus. Class. Um, gothic blurt. Gothic blurt. <laughs> Good spiders in it. <laughs> <laughs> gothic blurt, that's, uh, yeah, many men have fallen victim. To oh, it. yeah. So it's, it's a whole thing now, the big teddy goth, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big teddy goths are great. Yeah. Know? Yeah. The kind of, the emo scene in general has kind of slowly faded, but the big teddy goths... They're evergreen. They're evergreen. They're always going to stay about. Yeah. Big milky tits. Milky gothic tits. Sorry, my mind just Sorry. drifted there for a, a split second. Same. So when the Gla- went to Edinburgh and Glasgow, mm-hmm. there was a whole fiasco. Missed the boat, fucking blah, blah, blah. All that shit. Shows were great, though. Shows were great. Shout out to everyone who came out. Oh, my God. How sexy is Blackfriars? It's great. And then I got, that, I got that same menu that you obviously got that time. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, the food's mad. I got like haggis with smiley faces on a pizza. As if like the whole thing is like novelty. And it was like, it's all like nice Italian stuff. Fennel sausage pizza, you know, macaroni, fucking arancinis, all that shit. <laughs> oh, uh, authentic Italian. Authentic Italian. <laughs> the macaroni. Macaroni. And then I was like, of course, Aaron's seen the fucking, you know, the smiley face pizza. I was like, that's what I'm getting. I didn't even see anything else. The most know. ludicrous shit. <laughs> The deep fried lasagna was also a fucking. What? They have a deep. What? They have a deep fried lasagna. Oh, the one for that, sir. God. Deep battered lasagna. Battered lasagna. <laughs> Gives a fucking battered lasagna. <laughs> what next? Battered stew. Just anything. I ate it. Of course you. Of <laughs> course you. You fucking animal. I'd like to do that as a food show. I ate it. I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I ate it. <laughs> fuck out, delicious fuck out of here. You just get stoned, walk about. Fuck out of it. <laughs> now, if I did that show with Action Bronson, like we'd be at a restaurant, I'd be thinking everyone's talking about me. I'd be freaked uh, out. Wait, I don't know how people like smoke weed and then go out to public places. If you if you had one of those shows where you're like, like that last one he put out, he's like, I'm in East London, I'm checking out all these kebab shops, and he goes yeah. to like four kebab shops, and the guy makes it for him, and he takes a bite of it, and he's like, that's great, I'll taste the ribs, that's great. And then he moves on to the next one. You just, you'd empty the tank on the first one, just like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. and then fucking, they'd be like, well, we'll move on to this next one. You're just, you're just fucking <laughs> falling asleep on the seat in a cloud of vape smoke. I would, I'd love to have just me sitting there with strawberry kiwis, rest of the board blazing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blaze it up. <laughs> <laughs> so your sounds are limitless. Welcome back to fuck out of it. <laughs> You're doing that. You know that long intro, Matty Matheson style. He's like a mile away, with mic'd up. <laughs> Welcome back to fuck out of it. Does anyone? Have- I'm at the side of the motorway in Tyrone, <laughs> and this fucking. We're here Tra- at the Colmore Diner. At the Colmore Diner. I'm, tr- I'm trying to get a battered sausage with a plastic fork with two prongs on it. <laughs> I asked for a cappuccino and was told to- I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that didn't exactly happen like that, but near enough. Can I get spinach in that omelette? She's like, <laughs> what? What I guess is pride? Fuck off. Pride? Did yeah. you say? <laughs> Well, I guess it's Italian Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, I asked and I'll have a cappuccino with that. She's just, just, just right in the bit. <laughs> Milky coffee. <laughs> you fruit. <laughs> just Imagine just, I asked for an old flower white. She's probably combust. <laughs> she was just like, what, what four words did you put together there? Oat milk flat white. I, I the like, fuck is that? I like the wanky coffee, but then at the same time, <laughs> it's hard to beat just that I shit a garage coffee too. Yeah. You know? I mean, I would take the consistency of a machine over the inconsistency of just some Hallion in a coffee shop. Yeah. You know? We were in a place in Glasgow there now and got a coffee and Dylan was there and he's a fucking real coffee knob and he was like, oh yeah, dude, they got the fucking... And he, he was like, the, he said ounces and shit. He's like, oh, that, oh, that's the 12 ounce. That might be a lot. I have no idea. The fucking it's eight, only about eight, coffee or short lines? Eight, eight, eight ounce fucking Americano. It was like a wee Americano, uh, Italian coffee, dark as all fuck. 
You know, you like sipping, your teeth are black. Aye. It was great. Was it the paper cup? Was it in a paper cup or was no, the place called paper cup? Called paper cup. No, no. 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 I was supposed to be like, what a weird question. I, was, I, was I, it called paper? It's a really nice wee coffee shop. I do, I do think coffee is better from a paper cup, Sumi. I think Fanta is better from machine. McDonald's. <laughs> So Russian, the way he said that. Machine. Taste, Fanta tasty from machine. It is. Fanta is not as tasty in a bottle as it is a machine. And Coke is nice here out of a machine as well. But. What are you saying? Fizzy drinks are nicer from a machine? Pepsi out of a can. Top tier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all I thought about this week. <laughs> what are you calling in the studio? You need more calories for that brain. <laughs> Literally, I do. <laughs> I do. I talked McCartney in the band a 220 pound pair of fucking American New Balances that were nice. like green, white, and gold. No nice. And you want to see, I love, it was such, such a social experiment, taking him into end clothing, <laughs> you know, and all these fucking, you know, guys were like that wee straight fringe and a mullet, you know, and fucking, oh, yeah. you know, paper clips hanging off their ears and all that. Just super cool. And, uh, Right enough, that's the thing that's talking about these days. Well, Boys like, you know, they get a piercing and they stick an actual paper clip on it. Yeah. That's mad. Yeah. Well, they're not getting slagged, though. You know, it's a very progressive place. You can't do that shit over here. People are like, the fuck's this lad? <laughs> what the fuck is that there? But, uh... You couldn't wear jeans here for a while? Oh, well, this is this is, this is is why it was fun. Like, just watching him... Yeah. ...dressed like a farmer. Yeah. Just walking around, staring at the shoes. Just, I couldn't spend that in a pair of shoes, no? McCartney is very subtle swagger, though. I've said to him before. You know? A couple of tweaks here and there. People think that was deliberate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he put the new balance on. I was like... Chuck a couple of rolls in them jeans. You got the thick fucking check shirt. You know? I don't know if McCartney would ever roll up the jeans though. Put a safety pin in your ear? Yeah. No, I wouldn't. Not unless he was trapping through shite or something. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Oh, wait. So we stayed in this We stayed in this apartment and it was a fucking... It was a disaster. The guy just kept going. The, the guy sent a message thing and he was like, listen, if the lift doesn't work, just take this, the fire steps. And that, that was like, that was a full 12 minute ascent to the top. Ascend, ascend, climb. Got to the top, all this gear. Some when then sometimes the lift works. We were able to go to the top. The, you know, it was all good. I talked about it in my podcast. This guy messages me. Funny story about the apartment in Glasgow. I'm a firefighter in Glasgow, and I'm willing to put my money. That was Ten Buchanan Street. Uh-huh. It was. That was the building. You were staying at. The lift is out of order, but because because three weeks ago, during the wee hot spell, a party at. <laughs> An Airbnb flat in there got out of hand and 20 people des- decided to cram into the lift to get away from the police and shut the party down. Needless to say, it got stuck between floors and had to p- put a hole in the wall and pull out 20 of them one by one. Oh my God. Each was more sweaty and ready to pass out than the last. Anyway, that might be completely irrelevant if it wasn't your flat, but it here definitely was. I'm not claustrophobic, but if I was in a lift with 19 other cons, that's... And do you know what? We It was, it was patchy at, at best, so we got in the odd time and it worked but you would get in there was no light in it so we got into like a dark lift mm. and uh it was very funny at one point because the, the doors closed and it was pitch black and i just started going <laughs> and i just kept it going for six floors <laughs> it, oh, i mean there was red flags everywhere it was so slow to get up six floors i was like we're we probably should just take the steps like yeah but there was <clears> i did notice like i was like it's quite a fancy building and then on one floor there's just a fucking hole bashed in the fucking wall and yeah. it had been like freshly plastered so that's obviously it i'd say like how long do you think they were in the lift for i mean you're t- uh, uh, you know how long would it, t- it it might be fucking two hours before you phone someone get them out get them in the building get them up figure out how to get them out yeah smash a hole in the wall keep in there for a while like. yeah i feel like though if you're gonna be stuck on a lift with a bunch of people people from glasgow are probably the best because they would try and make a fun time out of it and then after a while the panic would start to sit in yeah but a, a 20 of them, though, that, that's what freaked me out. Cause yeah. There was three of us in it, and I couldn't fucking move. That's what I mean. I'm, I'm not claustrophobic with that there. I think you might legit pass out in that. I, I think I might be claustrophobic just at the thought of it. Yeah. The thought of being in tight spaces? Yeah, like seeing those shows, and they're like, climb through this tube. <laughs> Any of that cave business, you know, people are like, in a cave? Aye. <laughs> Fuck that. No, I wouldn't be fond of a cave myself, no. No. Well, a good job is me and you are not built for <laughs> potholing, or whatever the fuck it's called. What, what's the term for it? What do Americans call it? Spelunking? That's literally what they call it. Google spelunking. <laughs> what is it? Climbing through wee holes in rocks. 
But it's the same story every time. They're like, we were spelunking and it's and a flood broke out and we drowned. Oh, it's called caving, is it? <laughs> the tune, I mean, that makes more sense. <laughs> Modern well, caving, also known as potholing, involves exploring underground through networks of tunnels and passageways, which can be natural or artificial. Man made. Sometimes people explore beautiful show caves. Oh, fuck, they've got the show caves, <laughs> which are wide open spaces you can walk around without any equipment. I mean, again, just. Well, first of all, good luck getting a fucking hard hat to fit me. There's a fella there having a good time. <laughs> That'll be using his 18th birthday. Blown up on the front door. There's a man there. Like, everyone's having a I good time. We, we should have a section called Do Anything Else. You know, hey guys, do anything else apart from being a fucking cave. <laughs> they, all, they look really happy. Like, no one even looks slightly concerned. Yeah, they're doing a like, full fucking photo shoot for this doll on Instagram. God. There's a man there forcing himself to have a good time. That's not the do you know what I? Do you know what I would be wearing if I was doing that? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I'd be where I'd be like Bronson, great naked, greased up, tape my dick up, and just get in there nude. Yeah, you can because I, I know I would get in there and be like, oh, my shoelace is stuck between two rocks here, and I just die. But what do you do? Like, you just get in there and have a wee look about, it, and that's it. I pretty much. This was definitely a preset photo here. Now this guy did not look that much in wonder or anything. Uh, yeah, that'd be me in and out, <laughs> straight to the bottom. Is that it? Class, Se- come on, fuck, seen it, <laughs> seen it, seen been there, done that. And the cafes nearby. <laughs> I, got, I genuinely the first time I went to Black Colca Mountain, I got to the top and was like, "Are you? There's no fucking coffee shop up here. Are you? Are you serious? <laughs> Furious? Like, What's not it? even a vending machine? What's it short? I the short said the other day. He was like, he was chatting to some some girl he hadn't seen in a while, and he's like, "What are you up to nowadays anyway?" And she goes, "Oh, I, I own like a cafe." And he goes, oh, fuck, where is it? And she goes, oh, it's just like a wee horse box up in Port Rush. Uh, and then he says to me, he goes, this is a fucking joke. He goes, where the fuck are they going to put the horses? <laughs> These bastards take them all for fucking lattes. <laughs> uh, there's a housing crisis with horses. <laughs> These big landlords coming in selling fucking flat rights out of the back. The horse box is like where, you know, if you're running a wee business out of there, like, you're fucking laughing. Oh, yeah. I feel like it really spiked during the pandemic and for some reason it's dead. Well, yeah, it's portable. There was a couple of businesses though that died hard after the pandemic. Like you, know, you had people that Kiss were just em. making these boxes of just like wee treats. Yeah. But it had like nice packages and all. But really, they just spent a tenner and being in bargains. They're charging forty pound for it. Yeah. The hamper game got slammed. Ate my ass. Ate my ass. <laughs> Even a good hamper shite. Aye. Because they're like, here's here's some peanut brittle that's been in there for two years. Aye, the chocolate's always wanking them too for some reason. Yeah, it's wanking. There's never a Cadbury dairy milk. It's like a white fucking yeah well they can't do deals with Cadbury's yeah, Cadbury's are like we'll sell our chocolate sells itself yeah they put some stinking out cooking chocolate in the fucking we don't need no hamper deals in there huh we don't need no hamper deals in there nah, Cadbury's bro. Like, nah they give me shitty wine Cadbury's is king like it no, is no it is it is it in galaxy I'd say top tier chocolate <laughs> top tier chocolate <laughs> that's top tier chocolate <laughs> guys we're taking a quick break from today's podcast to do a sponsored ad read for BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com is an online therapy service which aims to get therapy to everybody. Yes. As it should be. Everyone should be doing therapy. That's a well-known thing now. 100%. You should be taking stock of how you're feeling. You whatever know? whatever problems that you might have, it's it's just good to share it with somebody. Absolutely. You get a fresh set of eyes on your problems and, you know, nine times out of ten you realize it's not as bad as you think. Yeah. You just got to speak to someone, you know. You just go on here, fill out a questionnaire, they will match you up to a therapist, and you can immediately start the sessions. Yeah, convenient. You can do it from home. You don't have to leave. You you set the appointment that suits you. Yeah. Ideal. Therapy from the house. Therapy from 2023. Where else would you get it? It's great. You've used it. I have used it, yeah. Got matched up with a therapist. Did a couple of months of it. At the time, was kind of having, you know, bit of a shade time. Went on, talked to the therapist. And I, like you said... When someone talks to you with a fresh pair of eyes who doesn't know you or have any emotional investment in you whatsoever and they're talking you through it, it does help. Yeah. Problem shared is problem, problem shared is problem halved. That's right. Guys, with over a thousand therapists in the UK already, BetterHelp can provide access to mental health professionals with a wide variety of experience in mental health. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash BSP. Stands for Bomb Squad Pod. Yes, it does. That's better com slash BSP. Look after yourselves. Thanks to our guys at BetterHelp. Uncook the goose. Speaking of top tier chocolate, I find a pair of strange knickers under my 
on their <laughs> I was in that Airbnb. Stray X? Stray X. I was trying to I was trying to find uh duvets and I pulled the fucking cupboard thing out from under the bed and there's just someone's old balled up fucking lacy knickers. And I walked into the other room with the other boys and I was like, There's fucking someone's knickers under my bed. Dylan's like, Do you sniff them? And I was like, Are you mental? <laughs> I think I'm twelve. I wouldn't even sniff my own knickers. Oh, sir, bastard luck. I just fucking, I just put my, I literally like, you know the way you put your shoe like half on if you were like nipping out to the bins? Yeah. I put my shoe half on and like towed it back onto the bed and I was like, that's someone else's problem now. <laughs> did, you see, did you sniff him? Aye. Some fat bitch goes out in the night out on Edinburgh, in Edinburgh, through them cobbled streets all day, you know? And I went what five hundred miles, and I, da, da, you know, sweating breezers, ba- sweating breezers, <laughs> battered fucking lasagna, <laughs> and then kicks him off onto the bed. He's like, "Do you sniff him?" Aye. Yeah. Why don't they just lick the bins? Uh, I didn't, be fair though, she must have been clean enough. Like, as if you couldn't, if you couldn't smell anything coming from there, you know, she must looked after herself. Maybe they were just like fresh. I, but- You'd rather have a rat in your Airbnb than a pair of my boxers laying there. <laughs> but, well, can you smell your boxers from a, from a, a distance? Well, I've never like put it to the test, but like say, like could you, do you walk into your room and be like, "Fuck, I must have left a pair of boxers right <laughs> in here somewhere." <laughs> Bro, what's, what's my car smell like today? <laughs> oh, I, turned, <laughs> I dropped the fuck. Uh, that other dad to go to Cool FM. Yeah, here, here's a way, here's a word to Cool FM. Move properties. <laughs> Where the fuck? Come on out to Newton. No, no, absolutely fucking blow That's like Epstein's Islands. It's fucking, it's fucking miles away. Like, <laughs> and I, I drove the whole way out and I, I told, I was like, I'm going to pre-make the overnight oats and I'll make, I'll, I'll make loads of them yeah. so I can eat some for breakfast, eat some later on, see me eating eight, eight at night. Right. And, uh, you know, just was driving along, speeding, probably, pissing rain, trying to get to this place. And there was, you know, just one of those junctions that doesn't, isn't really marked like a junction. So at the last minute, I was like, ah, oh, it's crossroads. And braked and the fucking oats just... I I well. And sometimes but, you'll say like, "Bro, my car is stinking," and I go, "This is there's nothing here, you know. Yeah. I can't smell anything today. St- it was stinking. It was like a milky wake. It was you can't, uh, you can't fuck. I don't know what it's the milk, obviously, Aye. but I didn't know it took that short of time. Like overnight, it's just oh, milk is one of the most stinking things you can leave anywhere. Uh, if I've ever spilled milk in my house, fuck my love puts me out. Lies. God forbid you spill milk on your cacks. Oh, yeah. and then it's fucking, <laughs> it's fucking game. Milky over. cacks, uh, milky necks, boxers. Uh, Biohazard? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the car fucking stank. Uh, what the fuck was it? Was it? Oh, I, oh, I, so we stayed in the, the Knickers place, you know, full of Knickers, um, did the gig, whatever. Went back next day, went for a coffee, and we met, uh, shout out to our boy Deli, who gave us the flat. Um, he probably is, he's probably like, don't fucking say about the Knickers. <laughs> is, this a, is this his lover? No. Okay. no it's an Airbnb. Oh, okay. So his lover? Last- <laughs> Who was the last? <laughs> hey, it must have been. It's easy. It's easy done. Like you okay. know what I mean. You're not fucking. You're not expecting. No, I check. Them. I have a wee checklist. Okay. I'm All right. Well, let's, I'll let, he's only letting us stay. Like I'm sure he wasn't doing the fucking the COVID deep clean. Like. Uh, that's true. But anyway, the next day he was he went up to the apartment and texted me, and I was like, "Oh, here we're still here. We're we're just next door." But he came down, and do you know when you're like, you know he. He's probably going like, in any other walk of life, I can't have these conversations, mm-hmm. but I feel like you boys are open to it. And yes. we're like, oh, absolutely. This is absolutely fair game. This is absolutely fair game in this circle. And if, and then he opened up, you know, he was really, and he just told us about going on a fucking, de- <laughs> on a deep dive of how to fight dogs. <laughs> Does he have a fucking onion rooter? <laughs> what? And he was like, because <laughs> I said something about like, I was like, oh yeah, if I'm, if I'm walking, Eddie, like around that wee park or whatever, and someone has a dog loose, so and the dog went for it. I was like, I'll, I'll stab the dog to death, like. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, Yeah, man, I fucking. Uh, so I've been, I've been down a bit of a wormhole with that. No, he goes, You know what you do? <laughs> he's like, You, you offer up your arm, and, uh, and meanwhile, this is the quietest, the most hipster cafe with people having like red velvet cupcakes and fucking flat whites and writing in their journal. And he's like, You, you fucking let it bite your arm, and he goes, Instead of trying to pull away, you'll never win that fight. You'll never win that fight. You wanna. Grab it by the hind leg if you can get that, and then you you force your arm into its mouth as hard as you can get. And he's like, I mean, I sound crazy, and I'm like, nah, fucking, give me the tips, man. You force your arm all into its mouth, and if you can get their two hind legs, you just yank them apart like a fucking Nando's chicken, just snap. Them over. I love how he went. I feel like I could. I feel like you guys are cool, so I yeah, can, uh, I can talk to you about how to kill a dog. Yeah, it was great. I was loving it. 
<laughs> McCartney just you know he can't he can't handle any fucking uh, public interaction. So at some point he was just like, <laughs> and I'm sitting there going fucking t- tell me. Imagine that technique though. Oh, I could have done that so, years ago. Someone's dog snaps at you and you just grab its two back legs. I mean, uh, I remember. I love the. I, I love when people say that too. Like, and then you have like a fucking two hundred pound American bully swinging off your arm or something. Oh, I, like, I remember my advice to was, he goes, if, you ever, if you're ever scared of a dog, you know, what you want to do is uh, get down and pretend like you're going to grab a stone and then turn around it. But there's no stone there. And the dog will shed itself and run away. And I was like, have you tested this? Who's, yeah, who's throwing, who's throwing dummies at a dog? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, fainting punches. <laughs> Watch yourself. You know what the best thing to do is? Come on, man. Come on, man. Look out, man. <laughs> Only two people know karate. That's, by the way, recommendation, that is one of the best comedy films that's been done in oh, years. Oh, it is. But you forgot my best tip. What's that? You just say sit. Oh. I- <laughs> that's, apparently that's one of the tips of a dog's being aggressive. Sit? Yeah, someone else's dog's going mad. You just go sit and it goes, what? I'm such a fan. I don't hear that from you. With dogs where, like, the last dog I was bit by was a chihuahua. And they're vicious wee bastards. Mm. Put them in the lock, then as fuck. But uh, <laughs> they're, uh, I said, <laughs> <laughs> you just drowning chihuahuas? Sitting at my friend Michael's house in New York for a couple of days and his flatmate Caitlin, she is a sweet chihuahua. And I remember like on the way there, she had sent me a voice note being like, Hey, Michael's working, I'm not gonna be there. She goes, When you get in, I can't remember the dog's name, but she's like, he will bark and he will like come at you. And he's like, she's like, all you have to do is like just be very affordive. I was like, Well, I'm fucked. And she's like, just point your finger out and go, sit over there, sit. Right, so I get in and I do that and it doesn't work. And I'm like, well, what the fuck do I do now? Where were you in America? Yeah, I did was in you, New Did you York. do the accent? No, I was like, sit, <laughs> <laughs> fucking sit, you wee c-. Dog's like, what? I'm Mexican. <laughs> right. <laughs> Senor, please sit. Please. Just like Jerry Adams talking to his dog in Irish. What way he does that? Yeah. Who used to do the bit about that? I wish I could speak Irish to do a bit, but uh, yeah, we'd just be talking to the camera like, oh, the bird comes out, blah, blah, and then we just turn out of the dog and blast some Irish at it. What was that? That's not Irish. What was that? That was just a random noise I made. Glocker. TG Car. SpongeBob a square plus. <laughs> Bro, you're so racist, man. You're gonna get kneecapped. I know. I'm a halfy, so I can do it. <laughs> yeah. I get bundle and amporos. Fuck you guys. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was probably it probably didn't understand your accent. Yeah, I should have went for an American accent. Yeah, I was like, I came in and oh, straight away was just like set over there and didn't do it. Yeah. So now I'm like, fuck, can't can't call. If you, Caitlin. If you walked in on a fucking <laughs> on an American human. <laughs> I went fucking sit down the corner there, lad. They'll be like, what? What? Put your fucking hands up. <laughs> Are you the DPD driver? <laughs> Are you Barry? <laughs> Barry does me flat out now. <laughs> and Barry from DPD. He's like Santa. Aye, no, one puts in, no one has a grind set quite like a DPD driver. Grind set? Oh, oh uh, God. Yeah. Grind set. You're not watching Alpha Male Talk Talk, bro. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen a few of them. I've seen a few of them. Have you ever seen those ones where it's like, because uh, it, 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 one of those like generated voices now, remember it all used to just sound like, I'm a computer. Yeah. And now it's got like a guy's voice that talks like this. But yeah. it's obviously like fucking, it's like Microsoft chat. It's like five, five signs that you're a weak ma- man. And then it's like <laughs> masturbates every day. And you're like, Jack. oh, Jesus. <laughs> Awake as patient. What's the order for? Gets emotional. Uh, yeah, gets, you know, what the fuck else was it? It's like just a load of bullshit, but you're like, yeah. You're like, I've, t- I've, ticked, I've ticked them all off immediately. Five signs. Welcome back to Aaron McCann's Guide to Being a Weak Man. <laughs> 27 strong signs of a weak man in a relationship. Let's strong go. signs of a weak man in a relationship. Go on then. Real oh, this bad is written man. by a lady. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. It's probably longer than it should be. It's probably going to take ages and not have a punchline going Number one, he doesn't love himself. Number two, he doesn't keep his word. Do they do they expand on these points or have you just rolled yeah. over this silly bitch is saying? <laughs> Number one, he doesn't love himself. 
You've heard the cliche that we humans are incapable of loving others if we can't love ourselves. And while it's not a foolproof formula, uh, it is steeped in the truth. Dating someone with serious self-esteem. You see how I skipped that word because I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Dating someone, I knew them would see that. So then someone with serious self-esteem issues often leads to explosive fights and inconsistent feedback. But remember that life is a roller coaster, ups and downs are I'm not even gonna bother attempting that one. D Go on ahead then. Don't say it. <laughs> so try not to confuse a rough patch with an incurable study of self pity. Remember life is a roller coaster. You just gotta ride it all night long. <laughs> so is that it yeah that's all 27 i don't get that like being emotional skim through these fucking shits here doesn't keep his word he's competitive with you he lacks empathy he he's only intimate during sex he's a deadbeat dad <laughs> <laughs> he never considers the future he's overly concerned of appearances too jealous he expects you to support him he's pompous around your colleagues He's rude to servers. He's passive aggressive. He blames you for everything. Doesn't make you feel safe. Do you know what I don't like about this? What? None of that is male specific. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Not just that's what makes anyone a bit of a. Cunt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Terrible listener. Who Never is this lines. fucking stupid bitch wrote this? He's clinging. Shona Keating. Yeah, <coughs> showing the key. Did you say you can't win? But you know, some woman's written this. You know, you know, and if you were, you know, you were any of those things. Yeah, and then she'd be like, "Oh, you're too clingy. I you're also, not clingy enough." I also don't like, um, you know, people saying that a sign of a weak man is to be emotional. You know, I think they mean like emotionally reactive. No, oh. it's all right to be like, you know, you're fucking someone in your family does well and you're like man i'm just so happy for you they, yeah. they like that sort of emotions yeah they, like my, maureen doesn't like the sort of emotions that i have which is i go where's the car where's the fucking car key Where? oh my god where's the fucking oh in my pocket you know i think that's what they mean yeah just a total overreaction to anything <laughs> you know <laughs> i never get any free time it was out of fucking do the work and fucking put the on the deal in the end. It was like, you've been, on your, you've been by yourself for nine hours. What? Yeah. That's not enough. So it's like aggressive outbursts. It's just it's just like you can't keep a lid on anything. Yeah. Any wee thing fucks you off. Yeah. Emotional could be, you know, like you're about to do something, then you get an email that you didn't like, and you go, well, I have to go to bed for seven hours. <laughs> Instead of just being like, these are just words on a piece of glass. Let me sort it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? See, the, the way you, you can do that. But the way you said that. Like these are just words on a piece of glass. Yeah, I know. You have to think you got it at the time. Yeah, that's what I say before I send my wife a horrendously abusive text. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really. You fucking bitch. And remember, <laughs> these are just words on a piece of I've never I've never said that to my wife. No, you don't. I'm Your never, text exchanges are just like No, it's very uh, robotic. What do you want from the shop? Do we have milk? Uh what time are you home? Are we talk in person. Yeah. That's what happens. That's the way it should be. And by talking, I mean so close to each other and be on our phones. But that's, listen, you need that too. That's love. You need to decompress. That's true love right there, baby. That's true love right there, baby. Uh, <clears throat> our bedtime show at the minute, SAS Who Dares Wins. What is this? This is a show <laughs> on the, it's on Channel 4. Okay. Where they take celebrities and put them in there. We're not on the current series, because like Matt Hancock and stuff is on, which and they give him an absolute gorilla, which I can't wait to see. I'm on the one previous. With like Callum Best and fucking some guy from Naughty Shore, George, Naughty Shore, bro, <laughs> Geordie Shore, so whatever the fuck that show is, <laughs> or the T Tawi. Is what? that still going? Oh, it's, it's on its fucking ninth series. Really? It's great. Geordie Shore? Oh, I don't know. Surely that, that show's dead in the water now. Probably. Or that kind of show where it's like, we're just going to well, film a pre-drinks here and a minor sexual assault. Y you know, yeah, well, that's it. As, as, as things progress... Yeah, they can't be showing like a drunk girl just getting railed by three guys, and then waking up the next day and being like, "I feel fucking terrible about myself." <laughs> As Jez runs down her neck, you know, there was always those like infrared cameras of just someone's arse. Yeah. <laughs> and then just the bottom. next morning, she's like fucking one eyelash hanging off. And I don't really feel good about myself now that seven lads have fucking spaffed inside me. 
I got asked by four gay guys in Lavery's <laughs> last night. <laughs> what? There was four gay swingers in the front row of Lavery's last night. I take one night off and the place is going to shit. <laughs> From Florida. Right. The American guys? Oh, they were oh. the best crack, right? And I like, missed it. But I was trying to figure out what their scenario was because I was doing crowd work on them and I was like, so how do you guys all know each other? And then they like kind of all looked at each other and started blushing. And I was like, this is some sort of fucking gum tree fuck meeting. And then one of the guys was like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. And I was like, don't you fucking lie to me, piece of shit. I know you fuckers don't have gum tree. It's Craigslist. And then I was like, so how do you guys know each other? And then they all looked at the one guy and I was like, oh, is this a sugar daddy over here? And then he said something smart. And I was like, oh, you're a sassy bitch. And I was just getting into it. Oh, getting gayer too. as time went on for some reason. And then I uh, was chatting to them and they were basically saying they all met on Hinge. So it was like two and two or something. Okay. And it was like a, you can like double date now on Hinge. Oh. Uh-huh. So they met on that in Florida and then came to Belfast for just a, a fuck holiday. Gay people have it so much better. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that sounds like good crack. I mean, what a strange destination. Yeah. <laughs> Let me pitch this to you. Four way fuck way. <laughs> Titanic Museum. Yep. Is that it? That was basically it. God damn. They went to la- they Everything's going down. Came down to Lamprey's. <laughs> what is that? Ang Museum? I mean, to be fair, you know, I'm sure they had a fucking great time. Yeah. You know? Just them, four of them in a fucking E-top? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great, great gay nightclubs and bars. Any of them hot? Were they hot guys? Oh, yeah. yeah. They were like, they, they looked like Ken dolls. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. They were like four, four goslings. Gleeman. Gle- oh, they are. Gays be shiny. Oh, why? Shiny gays. Yeah. They caught my eye immediately because I was insane. like, That's what we're into. Yeah. Shiny gays. There. That's shiny hand. <laughs> <laughs> you doing, man? Holding a puppy? Stick it. <laughs> but I, I was like, I was, you just have a great time here. And I was like, good luck at my cake, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, did I get a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> good luck at the birthday cake, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a life out of each other down in fucking Union Street, like you know. <laughs> Hope none of have a birthday coming up. He's a bit in bum. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure they were eating each other's bums. <laughs> <laughs> they were some atmosphere though. Like they really got the place going. And it felt like that's a great compliment. Yeah, you boys are some atmosphere. Yeah, they were. That could be the new thing. Remember they people were. used to say such and such is a great bunch of lads. Yeah, you know. I, someone complimented. I think it was Bobby Kelly complimented me and Michael. Uh, going down to like the stand we were watching the show and like you know Michael is a black man so every time he laughs black Mike's a black man yeah it's like a full like stop theater piece yeah you know and then he like leans into me and then I fucking get into it too so the two of us are just sitting there bit in the shit of each other laughing and then Bobby Kelly's like look at these guys having the best time in the world yeah big Bobby Kelly so did, you, did you think that Lucas had activated that music no, I felt like there was something in it. Mike Rice is some man for... Uh, oh, he's a good atmosphere. You know, he's he's a black guy watching magic, even though he's a white guy from yeah. Kilkenny. <laughs> you know, he sees... <laughs> Shaking you and shit. I was actually on the phone him the other night. McCann, y'all, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> he's some of the best lines ever. But it's so funny. You're like, hey, what, what's cracking you that new woman? He goes, ah, oh, jeez, I'm in love with her and I fucking... I can't be myself. <laughs> Uh, Which is great. Uh, great atmosphere. Mike Rice is a ma- manly old man, but he's open and vulnerable. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I wonder what they were, the, the gay guys are doing on the rest of their trip. I mean, you know. I'd love to know that. Fucking but, take your pick. You know, do they, so ha- do they have a vlog or anything? I would love that if they did. Yeah. I actually was going to go speak to them after the show. And then I went to the green room, grabbed my shit, and they were gone. Oh. But I was just going to go up to them and say, I appreciate having you lads down there. You regret. Guys, do we need a five side going on here? <laughs> Jump <laughs> in the mix. That's what I meant to say. That's how this started. Um, I was like, I was chatting about something and then one of them, guy in the middle, goes, do you know what Bukaki is? And I was like, I've seen a few videos, huh? Ah, he's a restaurant in Lisbon Road. And then he goes, you could get down on your knees and we could show you. And I was like, don't threaten me with a good day. You dirty bastards. Yeah. I immediately felt the DUP raise up on me at that Did stage. <laughs> I was like, he's a fucking lock, mate. Do you know what a bonfire is? That's where we used to put you, lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 
First you take my rainbow And then you're gonna Fucking glaze my bum <laughs> How dare you Man the front row Last night Was amazing And there was a guy too I asked him I met his girlfriend And he sent She came under the butchers He oh, was yeah. a butcher Nice And she just came in And they just I don't know what kind of Res he had oh, right. the counter Selling her streaky back bacon <laughs> yeah. You know That's streaky back res <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, the likes of fucking, uh, you know, Russell Brand and stuff, they'll get done. They'll get cancelled and whatever. No one's gone near them butchers yet. Nah. Them butchers are getting away with murder. Oh, why? You go into a butchers and there's like some fella talking like an 80 year old woman. She's like, I got half a pound of mince. And he'd be like, Bet you got half a pound of mince last night, there, didn't you? You know the old bastard, you know what you're like? Well, that's the thing, like, see people coming in here looking at me, your arse full of it. Anyway, good to see you. It's so it's so boring to talk about people being offended on a comedy podcast, but you do find that people that are offended by anything, very privileged lives. You know, they've never worked like a public service job in their life because if they did, they know that's how everyone speaks to yeah, each other. People are animals. Yeah, day to day, hundred uh, percent. You were talking about my old doll banter going up through the roof. Oh, I, had, I got new tires in the Jeep yesterday. Oh, I yeah. took Eddie with me yeah. and this woman beside me, Oof, bro. You were laying on thick, killing it killing it you know there's nothing like it i'm like i was like is that your car up there like, what are you getting she was getting the, getting the steering line i was like i'm oh, getting two new tires she goes you'd be better doing that in this weather and all and i was like i sure you'd be slipping all over the fucking roads all wouldn't you just like i know it's terrible no, especially with the weight in the car you want to keep him safe oh you know you can't be too safe and all can't be too safe and all. it just went on it was just it was nothing it was nothing chat but well, that's great the whole time you know people say i hate small talk and all i like i like it you know? There's nothing better than giving away too much information to a full stranger. No. He's like, oh, the weather's bad. I was like, I sure, we're, for, we're supposed to be going to South Africa here in, in, the, in November, and I would nearly go for the sunshine. Oh, you need to. You'd be <laughs> depressed around here, fuck's sake, come on. Have you only the one chassis? Like, I will, sure, if he's only in play school, sure, he's not missing much, you might as well take him. And I was like, yeah, I'm not fucking taking the child room the trip. No, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? He'd be fucking staying here. I'll be out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just absolute shite for, I, for about fucking 20 minutes. Like I worked the vape shop yesterday, whenever it was well ready, and I was just doing a wee stock in my head. Every single person without fail when they walked into that shop went, Jesus, I water. Yeah. <laughs> Every single fucking person. Not one combo breaker in the whole thing. Jesus, I water. And then some, some I long came in, right? She came in. <laughs> she was like, full raincoat, right? Hood over. We spec. We jam jar specs underneath it. Nice. That was all you could see. And she did like a minion. <laughs> <laughs> she, she entered the shop and took her head off like the Undertaker. Yeah. Like, go. Oh. Yeah, strawberry kiwis. Was she on the kiwis? <laughs> she was on the, what was it, strawberry, kiwi, and apple Apache freebase, six milligrams. Four for ten. Does that go in a machine? No, no, no. In a device? No, no, no. It's just, it's freebase as opposed to salts. Salts is the real wee fruity ones. This here's for the old tokers, you know. You get that throat hit. <laughs> you're looking at an old throat hit, love. Some boys come on the way, and the way they talk about kits, you're like, surely, are you talking about a car or a fucking vape here? Yeah. I mean, at not point six smock, lad. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to pretend to know what you're talking about. just called smoke. No, smock? <laughs> <laughs> it's called smock. S-M-O-K. Aye. Smoke. It's called smock. Uh... <laughs> Innovation keeps changing the vaping experience. <laughs> no, it is smock. Smoke. Sure, I, I said this before the podcast. I asked that fella, like, do you sell those? Those, and he goes, he goes, nah, we're out of them. What ones do you smoke? It's like, I have a nicotine patch. Don't smoke anything. Fucking dickhead. <laughs> Are you stumped by some of the people that come in that know more than you do about? Vapes? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I immediately, very quickly, just kind of make an eye over to the other person on and be like, "Here, you're gonna have to step in here." Yeah. <laughs> Wait, some boy came in. I built his own kit, and it came and looked like a rifle. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "I'm not going near this bastard." Look up homemade vape kit explodes. This is the danger when these boys take take matters into their own hands, and then the thing explodes in their head. Homemade vape charger explode. Is it a vape charger or a vape kit? And sets fire to a house in Wiltshire. No, you want the picture of the guy where it looked like he had a grenade. Oh my god. <laughs> Blew half his face off. <clears throat> it's dangerous business, these batteries, you know? Did you ever see the video of the girl and she's like taking apart a phone and then she decides 
<laughs> Vape safely. <laughs> she decides to cut the battery open on a phone. What? She puts a knife in it and just goes like that, and it just bursts into flames. Jesus Christ. Some some energy in it. No way. Like someone had a one of those e-bikes in London, mm-hmm. and they had it chained up just at the bottom of the stairwell, and the CCTV just caught it, just like, and then like jet fucking explosion comes out the back. Well, he was telling me last night about, I, we were chatting about like crazy experiences working on a vape shop, and he told me that <laughs> yeah! some guy would make his own liquid in the bath. <laughs> so he was making like prohibition fucking vape juice in his own bath. And I was so funny, I was like, what flavor was it? And he goes, what, you think there's flavor in it? <laughs> <laughs> Just pubes and ass. <laughs> Foam burst. <laughs> Red ox and pubes. <laughs> it's fucking not much to it, man. <laughs> like how much money are you saving? Like? <laughs> it is mental though. <laughs> yeah. Mental. You, have so, you have so much of it. Like, yeah. You have a full bath and then you have to take something and be like, <laughs> you know, what? <laughs> you know, <laughs> one fucking like at a time. That's what I, was like, I was like, what? This is called bath? Or is it just like put it on top of where? <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> vape prep. He goes to fill his vape thing up and he's like, I have all that. <laughs> oh. There is one guy though. He's sticky. He comes out, hey, fuck this guy. Oh. He, he bees in the shop for maybe like four minutes at a time. You know, he'll, he'll stick around for a little bit of small talk, but he's there to get his juices, right? And in the time he's there, I call him Big Clouds. Oh, Big yeah. Clouds comes in, he rips about fucking four big mass. Like, it looks like someone's burnt toast in the place. We have to open the door every, every time he comes in. And if you're listening to this, fucking have a bit of manners, you know? He comes in, hey, big rips, hey. And it's like full blown, like, you know, it's just there. Like, I'm literally trying to serve this guy and I'm choking on his mist. <laughs> choking on a man's mess but what i i just don't understand like you know the bigger cloud what like what's the bigger cloud None. your lung only has it's all a for show amount, a certain amount of room like it's all for show you is know? it there is like it's so You're funny f- how flexing on these hoes. And so, <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's so funny how, like every industry has like their version of hack yeah so like one is like oil boys love big clouds Nobody right. knows why, but like th- they won't go on to these like wee salt kits. Yeah. So like, oh, that's when they wee toots you thing, you know? They need the fucking external hard drive with the sucker on the yeah. end. And they're like, if it ain't, <laughs> if the cloud ain't big, I ain't sucking it, yeah. you know? That's their approach to it. <laughs> <laughs> but it you're is. not getting more nicotine. Because you know the way, like, you, you've got that wee vape and you probably, you, know, you sit in the house, blast it a wee bit, sit in the car, blast it a wee bit. You can't be just letting loose on the fucking. No, there's very you can't you can be going like, oh, oh, oh. And, you like, know, anyway. That's literally what our vape shop looks like after this one. Like, <laughs> fucking <laughs> never seen <laughs> Just a full Nimbus. Oppenheimer and you're fucking in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Vapenheimer. There he is. <laughs> Owl Boys, you should get a plaque made that just says, Owl Boys love big clouds. <laughs> New game, candy floss or cloud? <laughs> <laughs> is there the What's the vape shop called? Just vape. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Just Vape. Just vape? <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's your favorite rapper ad lib? Oh god. Mine just Rick Ross's. What's he he just sounds like he's getting up. He goes, oh, oh. <laughs> oh god. There's so many of them. There's so many history. I, I feel like the ad lib has become a spine. How strange is it that like your guy DWE will mm-hmm. like get up on a fucking lineup and just go ooh ooh <laughs> and everyone goes ah oh! you know fucking wailing it up every time. Yeah, and he just he just made this like taking a shit noise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one of them was like I do like Action Bronson. He's like it's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he tells me just calling into someone's house. It's me. Little Weirds was just decided to have light the night of Woodbine yeah. in the studio. And then he'd start a, rapping. A Woodbine. Aye. God. Wheezy. Wheezy. Who else is once? Wheezy, big cloud man. Protein. Travis Scott, straight up, obviously. Straight up. Migos is cool. You know. <laughs> Migos was just like, you know, it sounded AI generated. Yeah. All their ad libs. Skirt, skirt. Yeah. Yeah. Who else has stupid ones? 
Does any of the like OG, like you know, early two thousands rappers? Is there any like fam- real famous ad libs? No, I don't, th- I don't think they had. It. I think they were more about just the actual lyrics. Yeah, they were just about the bars, man. They were just about here bars, just bars, <laughs> just bars. Yeah, like I think. Uh, sorry, I just had a complete brain fart there. Live. That's the vapes. It is the vapes. Is your master still in the vape? Yeah, she's not happy about it. Not happy about it. No. What, what does she think about you working in the shop? I said that I'd get off them for Christmas. That's her Christmas present this year. You just keep nudging that deadline forward. I know. Oh, well, that's, like I said, I it's can't... It's a good one to say. I'm off them for Christmas. Yeah. And then she's like, you better be. And then you're like, 2027. Like, yeah. you don't tell her what, what year it is. Yeah. Have the turkey and ham and then fuck off to the toilet for a minute. Uh, big clouds. <laughs> Ripping my old boys love big clouds. <laughs> I actually bought like a like a full wank kit the other day just for the crack. Which is Vaseline. You know. <laughs> Hankies. <laughs> the nuts mag. I, <laughs> I bought like a, a one, of them, one of them big old beastie kits just to rip a big cloud and see what it was like. Uh, oh, wow. And uh, you get the 100 ml liquids but you pour nicotine shots into them. So I got a Boston cream one. And uh, ripped a big old cloud and uh, I was thinking like wasn't into it. No. Wasn't into it at all. I just like but then see when you're smoking that for a while where it's like three milligrams nicotine and you go back on these which is 20 yeah this feels like a crack pipe yeah this is too much you shouldn't be used to this that's why the children are into it you know yeah tasty addictive you get a panic when you lose it you know I had to check the IDs as well something I have to do he says he was checking IDs and he just can't do the miles at all so he has to just be like all right now I no, think, that's I, not true. I think so. You get it. You, <laughs> I you, think so. Why not? No, Why not? that's not true. I never said that. You get him of a five grand fine, and half of it goes directly to you, and half of it goes to the business. Right. So I be checking everybody. I see how much? Five grand. Five grand. Yeah. Right. If someone from like the council sends someone in undercover. Imagine that was your job. I know. I'm an undercover vape agent. But they're going to have to get... It's going to be like Catch a Predator. You're going to have to get someone that looks underage. <laughs> right, catch, a, right, catch a Predator. Like, the, you know, you go in the house, this guy's got a six-pack of Mike's Hard Lemonade yeah. to try and ride this 14-year-old. But it's just like 27. It yeah. looks like a child. He's like, hey, just set them there. And then she gets out of the room. Yeah, they should bring back Chris Hansen. And he's for, just like, what are you doing in here? <laughs> Strawberry Kiwi, I see. Hmm? Yeah. New show to catch a vapist. <laughs> Chris... <laughs> Chris Hansen walks in and was like, I saw you, you sold, so you sold a blue rice lemonade to a little girl with a rucksack on? Yeah. What's that about? Where? What do you think was going to happen after that? Get her Snapchat or something? Hmm? What next? Boston cream? <laughs> the Gadget Predator is one of the best. Sh- how that show got made to this day is unbelievable. I mean, someone's probably done a bit of stand up about it, but like, people were. Like, how do they just keep having customers? Or not customers, like people, customers. <laughs> like, just, surely, just. surely the pedos are watching the show going, fuck, that'd be wild if that happened. Bling, phone goes off. Hey, I'm 14. You want to meet me at this fucking house? <laughs> Bang. You're like, oh, well, not this. It's not going to happen this time. Well, maybe that's why it had such a short shelf life, you know? Yeah. Bar the fact that it was an outrageous TV show. But I would watch compilations of it all the time. Dragging you know? the, dragging them, you know, like, People didn't know enough about like TV or whatever back in the, t- in the day. Boys are pulling up in their car to meet a fourteen-year-old and like stepping past like you know light rigs and <laughs> you know all these fellas holding cameras and some guy adjusting a light, you know, some guy, some grip fella just holding the camera, <laughs> you know, <laughs> director with headphones and all. He's like, "Sorry, boys, busy here today." <laughs> Excuse me. Leads run everywhere. Cables. Excuse me. Sorry, I've made a fucking. When I made a 14 year old here, sorry. What are you shooting on? Is that fucking Chris Hansen? Uh, Chris, what are you doing here? Well, I've seen you on the telly. What am I doing here? What are you doing here? What did he do before that show? What? What did he do before that show? No. Well, is Chris Hansen just the pedo catcher? Pedo. <laughs> I don't know. Chris Hansen, a reformed pedo? Give him back oh. to the community? <laughs> the catcher of <famous. laughs> But yeah, in that show, my favorite one of all time, right, was there was a guy who went down. Good sketch, you know, you just send in like a fucking three-year-old. Can I have a vape, please? Aye. And just <laughs> burst in the door. Swat thing. Get down the fucking ground! Get on the fucking ground! Drop the vape! Drop the vape! I, instead, instead of like a smoke bomb, it's just the boy <laughs> been doing big clouds. Go, 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 go! Yeah. Clear. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, Chris Hansen is only like, is that his name? Yeah, Chris, Chris Hansen. Hansen. Only cut out for that job. Yeah. Like, what the fuck was he doing before? But he was so sassy with Some him sort too. of other detective. Yeah. You know, oh, hey, what's going on here? You know, just sneaky all the time. Yeah. The, the, my favorite one of all time was, oh. so, said pedophile comes to the door and uh, oh. the uh, teenager opens up the front and uh, she's standing there with a tray of cookies. Mm. And she goes, hey, just bake some cookies. And he's like, oh, that's delicious. <laughs> and he's standing there with like a wee fucking <laughs> spar bag of red wine, yeah. right? <laughs> Out of the bottle. He's standing there with his carry-out, right? And she's like, just bake some cookies. Which, you know, if you are a pedophile, dream. Oh, yeah. You know, cookies as home, well. Home run. <laughs> Jackpot. Yeah. So he goes into the kitchen, right? <laughs> and then she lays the tray down the table and she's like, I just gotta go get ready. Yeah. Uh, fucking probably finishing off her GCSE homework or something. And <laughs> but then, it's always <laughs> fake though. It's always like, <laughs> she, be, she might as well go, I'm just gonna nip in here and get the police. <laughs> and I just see like, go in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> she, she fucks off, right? And then, <laughs> sir, they leave the pedo with the cookies, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then Hanson walks in and the way Hanson would walk in. Guys like, like this, like, <laughs> Just has to spit it out again. He's like, oh. <laughs> he walks in, he knows he's about to ruin this old guy's life. He walks in, he goes, here. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, what are you doing here, man? And the guy's like, mid bite of a cookie. And he's like, <laughs> and all of a sudden, this guy realizes his whole life's over. Like, he's yeah. got a cookie in his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Why did he <laughs> Why did you just all over the cookie? <laughs> he's mid, he's mid cook too, right? And he fucking Chris Hansen just <laughs> Chris Hansen's like, what are you doing here, man? And literally, he takes a cookie out of his mouth. And you gotta, you know, pedos aren't good freestylers. You know what no. I mean? They're no Kendrick Lamar. Uh, so he's having to just freestyle his reason uh, for being in the house. Yeah. So he's like, I was just on my way to the beach. Yeah, and just then, the shit. And Chris Hansen's like, well, well, why would you? No, no, we have transcripts here of uh, you talking to a girl and then it goes you said and then all this here and the guy literally takes the rest of the cookie puts it in the tray and goes you know what I don't even want this cookie anymore <laughs> yeah, he, like, he can't abruptly leave so he'd be like oh, I, oh I, I'm allergic to cookies I just remember where's my key let me just <laughs> what the fuck is saying is when they go to leave right when they go to leave they're like fuck probably maybe I should give up the nonsense and then as they walk out four policemen just yeah. rugby tackle them yeah. under the ground just scissor him in half. Yeah, I would. I would ham it up a wee bit if I was the director of that show. Because the girl, you know, like the bait, the the person that's supposed to be a teenager, yeah. is like fucking thirty. Yeah, but they just look young. I'd have them ham it up a wee bit. You know, I'd be like, here's some cookies, and then I'd be like, I'm just going next door to wash my dirty pussy or something. <laughs> and the guy's just sitting there like rock hard. Fuck yeah! Do you mind sitting there while I film a TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's bricked up. Yeah. <laughs> Hans is like, what are you doing watching a TikTok? Yeah, I mean, you've been bricked up on TikToks. <laughs> you know, anyway, these days. I got okay, are we allowed to play this now? What is it? The to Catch a Predator cookie scene. Okay, I'll leave it for Patreon. Yeah. Sound to the Patreon, guys. So you can see us <laughs> review nonce clips. Yeah. Um, nonce what I call me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is some 14-year-old boy. Nonce, that's what I call pedos. Enjoy that pizza. So I'm just going to go next door and prep my tight little anus <laughs> why but don't also, you why don't you sit on the couch the guy's like i can't but also we're really breaking down the show here imagine being the person whose job it was to pretend to be a 14 year old girl in dms what do you even say hey that's suspect as well yeah that's weird too let's talk about that there's a fella just looks like me <laughs> in one of those little stakeout vans with all the you know radio transmitters and all just sitting there being like just finished my homework <laughs> thinking about you <laughs> Dripping like a George Foreman. And then he just sticks the phone down and he takes a bit of a fucking five guys. Hold just, on. Just, oh, he's got back to me here. You know, just, you know, horse box. Do you play Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> what flavor vapes do you like? I'll bring round. <laughs> Eggplant emoji. Sex cloud emojis. <laughs> Older boys rip big clouds. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> oh, a uh, couple of BCBs. What's that? Big cloud boys. <laughs> <laughs> Big cloud boys. <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, it's so funny because those boys that are up by clouds, they you can tell us they're puffing. They in their head, like they look like a gangster. 
like a mafia dom boss. Oh, a bondage so, t-shirt, studded belt, <laughs> some, some of them, like, leather shoes. Some of them really ham it up too. Big clouds. You know, because they don't like suck and blow straight away. They like let it like drift out of them. Yeah. Show me. Look at that. There. Speaking of big rips. You gonna die, bro? Oh, they let it. Oh, man. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pass out. Yeah, but like, I'm gonna pass out. Fucking watch. G G G G G U not. <laughs> Fucking Chris Hansen. <laughs> really want to watch that clip now. We're watching the Patreon. Uh, Sign on over to the Patreon, guys. We'll be talking about beta fans. <laughs> and cookies. Beta fans and cookies. <laughs> What's better than that? <laughs> <laughs> Lizzo, I've never actually dipped uh, Oreos into milk before. I was Have saying, you not though? I was. I'm probably never going to do this, but again, so I'll just say it on here. But I was saying to you, but uh, you know, I was trying to trying out a new bit of material last night, where I was <sighs> like, you know, Liz, I'm trying to lose weight because it's not fun to be fat anymore. You know, it was good crack whenever we had Lizzo kicking about, and she played the old flute like she was in a memorial flute band, and I was like, which is a Diane Shane because if there's ever a cutie that was built for a lamb bag, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me Lizzo with a lamb bag. What? On the soundboard. Your own personal soundboard. Give me a... Well, that noise does... I know, I oh, can't do it, obviously. I need you to do it. Can you do it? Can you give me a lamb bag? Like that big bass drum yeah. thing? <laughs> it's always the same beat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going for. <laughs> yeah. Police Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, yeah, see you next week. Police and get out <laughs> Guys, the people at BetterHelp are giving us cash. <laughs> <laughs>